everyone, I'm Zoe Canella reporting for Kids First and today I'll be reviewing Maleficent 2 The Mistress of Evil. I was really excited for this film. I remember in 2014 when the first live action Maleficent came out, I was... I didn't really know much about this. I'd obviously seen like the original animated version, but this was like the first film that I actually like truly connected to. And I love the first one so much. It still, like, blows me away. Um, but, yeah. So, with this one, I was very excited for. I do feel like, though, if they didn't make it, it would have been fine. Like, the first one alone was amazing, and it really didn't need to go on. But I did like the end result on how it turned out. This story is basically about Maleficent and Aurora. And Aurora, she wants to marry Prince Philip and... So basically, at one like at dinner at one point, Maleficent she just becomes so triggered with one thing that the Queen said that she kind of triggers war, and then the rest of the film is pretty much Aurora and Philip and will they find true love? Will the two lands finally like actually have true peace? And that's what the King wanted for everything to just be peaceful, and I feel like that's what everyone wants. I love Angelina Jolie as Maleficent again. I feel like she's just the perfect Maleficent. She's funny, sarcastic, at some point she can be serious, but just everything about her is like, it just fits in so well. And I also love the performance of Chiboto Ijo Ford, who plays Connell, one of the male fairies. I actually got the chance to interview him. He is so nice. Um, and his character, his character is like one of my favorite characters, if I'm being honest, because he's just so different from all the other fairies in the Dark Fae, which is another thing I love. They had the Dark Fae in this film, and I that was like a really cool thing. It's like where a bunch of fairies are. But yeah, Connell's from there, and he's very different from all the other fairies, because the other fairies are like, yeah, we want war, we want to take down the humans, and get our revenge on them. The visuals in this film were stunning. I love all the castle shots, and as I said before, I just love all like the the dark fae because like despite its appearance kind of like dark and dreary but it's like cool at the same time i feel like that's the place where the most like that people become the most truthful it's a very powerful place and i just love seeing what they could do with it and all the cool things that they took with the dark fae because that's like one of the mo like the main things of this film was like the fairies um i also loved the costumes the costumes were amazing and so were the set Basically, the whole film was just beautiful to watch. I feel like the beauty of the film was like one of the greatest aspects, or like one of the greatest things that I like loved from it. I also really like the music from Geoff Zanelli. A film without music, I don't even know what that could be, because it's just basically people acting and talking, and that could like that could affect you in a way, like emotionally. But with the music, it just kind of really brings everything together, and it just changes everything and the music in this film was absolutely beautiful. Of course this film isn't like the first one. I feel like most films, if they have a second part, they're never really as good, but I did quite enjoy this one because like the first one just has something that this one didn't, but I did enjoy it. I give Maleficent a four out of five stars and recommend it for ages six to 16. And finally, I think that the message of this film is that love does not always end in a good way because that is 100% true and also like I love seeing the mother-daughter love and like relationship in this film but also like with all the fighting and battling it just it doesn't always end well <laughs> um but thank you all so much for watching if you liked it make sure to give this video a thumbs up check out some of our other kids first reviewers and reporters and if you want to make sure to hit that subscribe button uh, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> Bye!